Jaipur at night is a very different vibe. Everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nights. Nice. My name is Shweta, and in this video, I am sharing restaurants and tourist spots in Jaipur that you must visit, especially in the evenings and night. The Pink City is known for its historic structures and their centuries-old architecture, and all these places turn mesmerizing when lit up at night, either with colorful lights or just under the moonlight. So let's get this visual treat started. I think the beauty of Hawa Mahal at night is absolutely unmatched. Right now, just looking at it this way in all of its glory, I am spellbound. I have come here during the day, but somehow whenever I have passed this street in the night, watching it lit up like this, I have been a different level of excitement. The stained glasses, the jharokhas, the white, and of course the typical terracotta pink. I think this. is a true depiction of jaipur at night even more beautiful even more lively and colorful in a different way Jaipur is filled with so many forts and palaces and you can actually sit and dine in a palace. I'm inside the Amir Palace right now and there is a restaurant here called 1135 AD. It's an all day restaurant but somehow in the evening I think the vibe over here is just magical. You can see the lights of the fort while sitting inside this beautiful restaurant and enjoy a meal. The interiors of the restaurant are exquisite, so much detailing. I think just the overall color scheme of red and gold, the arches, the big chandeliers They just give it such a magnificent feel. Even outside, it's a little bit more casual, but on a beautiful night in Jaipur, I think this is definitely a must visit. Drink that I order. This is a mojito. The mojito was a bit more lime heavy than mint heavy, but still, it was. Really, really good. The next thing that I tried was paneer hari mirch. Now, this is an appetizer. The flavor was just beautiful. This is the second floor of 1135 AD and they tell me that this is like a private shish mahal you have to book it in advance if you think the lower one was grand wait till you see this chandeliers seating it's just like spelling royalty all across you can see pictures of all of the famous personalities and dignitaries that have been here there is that same shish mahal type of intricacy on the ceilings this here is grandest probably one of the largest dining spaces that i've seen this is a 12 seater dining table the entire look and feel of this is just way too opulent i don't know if there's a right word for this but this is just like i'm shocked and this is actually connected to the main palace to the maharani's chamber Amer at night is so gorgeous. It's definitely one of the places to visit not just during the daytime but even at night. I mean just look at the whole view. It is mesmerizing. You can actually come inside Amer Palace after 6:30. I think it shuts down for an hour in between and then when you come here at night is when you can see the stunning stunning lights. It's nothing extravagant. The palace itself is so beautiful and the lights kind of add to its beauty and charm. सन एक हजार छत्तीस था बरसात की रात में दौर में धर्म और तहजीब So that was the sound and light show at Amer. The ticket per person cost rupees two hundred and fifty. It tells you the history of Amer. There are two versions of it. The English one starts at six thirty in the evening and it goes on up till I think seven fifteen, seven thirty, and the Hindi one starts right after seven thirty to eight thirty. The next place is inside Narayan Nivas Palace Hotel. Now this feels like a heritage structure. Inside actually there is a place called Bar Palladio and it is made so aesthetically. I think it's one of the most stunning restaurants I've seen and I've seen a lot of different restaurants in Jaipur but this one takes the cake in terms of its aesthetics its interiors every corner of the restaurant is beautifully done the colors are so vibrant it's a blue and a white combination just the detailing of the paintings the intricacy the overall look and feel of this place is splendid you're going to go 
crazy clicking pictures. That's exactly what happened to me here. In terms of food, there's a lot of snackables, finger food. They have a very attractive bar here. You'll also get a little bit of continental stuff like pizza, pasta, risotto and stuff like that. In my opinion, come here, get lots and lots and lots of pictures, grab a bite and just enjoy the overall ambience of this place. They also have outdoor seating. When the weather is good in Jaipur, you'll really enjoy the vibe outside. The next place is Townsend Bar and Kitchen. This is essentially a place where you can sit and enjoy drinks and music. The place is quite huge actually. Inside there are two stories of seating and outdoor seating as well. I decided to sit on the top floor as it offers this gorgeous view. The whole place has a very rustic vibe. In terms of food, they have a lot of options here. Burgers, sizzlers, desserts and a good variety of vegetarian and non-vegetarian main course dishes. Here I have ordered these fully loaded baked nachos. They cost 380 rupees without taxes. There is sort of a cheesy dip in the center and the nachos are loaded with salsa, jalapenos, olives and I think that is sour cream on top. Topping these with a little bit of the cheesy dip, the nachos are nice and crunchy and the toppings go just right with them. I think there's some avocado in there as well. The place stays open till probably 1am so if you want to chill or grab late night dinner then this place is for you. The next place that I'm going to is called Meraki Kitchen. I've heard about Meraki a lot and that's why I decided to try it out on this visit to Jeppo. And initially I had the impression that it was only oriental cuisine but it has a lot more. In fact, Mexican, Italian, continental, Indian, there's all of it here. I actually ordered the manchao soup first and honestly the soup was a tad bit disappointing. It didn't feel like manchao soup at all. I missed those finely chopped veggies in it. I missed that flavor of garlic. This didn't feel quite like manchao soup. The next thing that I ordered was spicy corn dumplings. These had a stuffing of corn paneer and a little bit of garlic. They weren't spicy as the name suggested. The one thing that was going for the dim sums was the covering. I think the covering they got right. It was really nice and thin and kind of like melt in your mouth. And even overall the dim sum was okay. I was just kind of missing a little bit of spice in it. What I like about the place is that it is beautifully made. There's also an outdoor seating area which looks quite pretty. So right now we are at Patrika Gate. While this place is extremely popular for all kinds of gorgeous pictures on Instagram, it does have its beauty even in the night. I think around 6.37 depending upon the season, the place is lit up from inside and reflect the colours even more beautifully. While I love visiting this place during the daytime with the sunlight and everything, but in the night it's a different vibe. All across Patrika Gate you'll find pictures that depict Rajasthani culture, images of Srinath Jharokhas, which you'll find in umpteen forts and palaces all across Rajasthan. This kind of a design is very common in Rajasthani block print. After walking from Patrika Gate, you can walk around the entire Jawahar Circle Garden. It's really pretty and green and you'll see a lot of people like walking and working out and stuff. Here, there's actually a fountain which when it's lit up and everything, it looks gorgeous. The next place that looks beautiful at night is the Albert Museum. Now this place does have its own charm and glory during the daytime and there's a lot of informational stuff inside the museum. But in the night, it is so beautifully lit up. If you happen to be here on public holidays or special occasions, then the lighting is even more grand. So this is what it's looking like now, Albert Museum in all of its glory. A nice place to chill out at night and grab a bite is Masala Chowk. Now this I think opens from 4 or 5 in the evening right up till 10 in the night and if you're around Albert Museum and stuff then you can definitely come here and grab a bite. It is an open food court with a lot of old legendary outlets that are here now. I have a full video sharing with you exactly what are the things that you can enjoy and I'll link that in the description box below. Do check it out. If there's one thing that the Jaipur locals swear by, it is coming in the night near Statue Circle and enjoying some coffee. Now the coffee here has been around for several, several years. You get hot coffee also and you get cold coffee and there's like a cold coffee with ice cream variant. So that's the one that I'm going to be trying. This is the famous cold coffee with ice cream of Statue Circle. There's coffee, bit of chocolate ice cream I think, a whole scoop, lots and lots of chocolate chips on top. So not only can you eat it, you can also sip it. Coffee itself is not too sweet, the ice cream and the chocolate especially is what is 
adding that sweetness overall this feels like a proper proper dessert and the quantity is quite a bit and you can easily share it with somebody if you are craving dessert the price of this is 130 rupees since i'm here at statue circle i also thought of trying out the hot coffee ha ah, i think i'm enjoying this one slightly more there are a little bit of powdered cocoa on top and that seems to be such a flavor enhancer the coffee itself is creamy perfectly sweet nothing like over sweet coffee and it's not even like you know those expensive over milky lattes it's desi style good coffee Seriously how beautiful the city palace look at night this place is lit up and in my opinion looks very very beautiful so definitely come and check this out This is Giardino's inside the Jai Mahal Palace Hotel. This one is an authentic Italian restaurant and offers a gorgeous view of the pool and the skies at night. And on this beautiful moonlit night, I decided to enjoy margarita pizza here. You can get pasta, desserts and more authentic Italian dishes as well. If you're looking for a slightly fancy Italian dining experience, then you can come here. They have indoor seating as well and this stays open till 11 p.m. at night. Another place which I really enjoyed visiting at night is Choki Dhani. Choki Dhani Dhani is an ethnic Rajasthani village and there is so much that you can do over here. This place actually opens at 4:30 p.m. and closes by about 10:30 p.m. So at night it is actually lit up in a traditional style with lanterns and oil lamps and that just adds to the whole experience. You can walk through a cave, visit all the temples, watch the Ganga Aarti and enjoy a full-on traditional Rajasthani thali as well. I have a full video on this place with all the information and you will find a link for that in the description box. So that was it from me exploring the beauty of Jaipur at night. If you are planning a trip here then do keep these places in mind and don't forget to share this with your friends and family and also subscribe to my channel for more destinations. I will see you in my next video. Bye.